Yo, what's up guys? We are back at it and today I want to talk about the benefits of door dashing or Uber Eatsing on a scooter. Alright, this just makes it so much better. Uh, you know, it can be kind of repetitive, the daily grind of uh, you know, dashing or Uber Eatsing. Uh, but when you're on two wheels, it doesn't even matter if you're stuck in traffic, you're just having a good time. Alright, it's just it's so nice, especially with the, your knees in the breeze. Uh, you just find yourself smiling. You know, it just makes the day fly by. Uh, but uh, you know, aside from just the fun factor, you know, you're going to save a lot of uh, money on gas. All right? That's a big factor uh, that comes into your, uh, your expenses for uh, Uber Eats and gig work. It's the amount of gas you're going to spend. And on the scooter, I'm getting around uh, somewhere around 90 miles per gallon in the city, which is really freaking good. Uh, compared to a car, I'd like to see you try to beat that. Um, you know, aside from the miles per gallon and aside from just having a blast while you're riding, you know, another great thing is parking. All right, huge thing is parking. You're going to be able to park anywhere between cars. You know, it doesn't matter if you're in the city, uh, you'll be able to find a spot. You know, one thing if you're in a car, you're in a busy city, you're going to have to double park. All right, you risk the uh, you risk getting a ticket. I've gotten a few tickets myself while I've been dashing or Uber Eatsing in my car and that's uh, no fun. Right? They ain't gonna reimburse you for that one. So being on two wheels, you can just find a spot anywhere. You know, it's, it's, even if there's no spots, you'll find a spot. All right? That's the huge thing about being on two wheels. Uh, primarily when I started I was in Boston, it was impossible to dash in my car. You know, I got the scooter and then it made it so much easier and I was, I was making more pickups and drop-offs per hour than I ever was in the car. Uh, here in Florida, you know, I try to stay in areas where um, I can continue to use the scooter. Uh, I know some spots I don't want to be wasting uh, time or, or gas going too far, so you try to find like a home base and stick to that. Uh, I try to stay in an area that has a lot of restaurants as well as you should in your market. Uh, it just takes time finding out what works for you. Um, getting to know the rhythm basically of uh, your restaurant. You know which restaurants are good pickups, which ones are bad pickups, and it just takes time to learn that. But uh, if you want to give it a try in a scooter, my goodness, you ain't going to regret it. All right, You're going to have a good time all day long. The hour's going to fly by. You're not going to have to worry about uh, paying for a lot of gas, and you're not have to worry about finding parking. All right, So it just makes it so much easier. I know you're going to have to wear an insulated bag on your back. You're going to have to have your phone right here, easily accessible on like a ram mount. Uh, and I'll put a link in the description to both of those that, uh, that I use that are very easy uh, to navigate while you're riding. Uh, but that's about it. I uh, hope this was helpful. If you did find it useful, you can uh, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I will catch you later. Bye.